In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. The Noble Qur'an, Part 2, Continuation of Al-Baqarah the Cow, Verse 142. The foolish among the people will say, What has turned them away from their Qibla, which they used to face? Say, To Allah belongs the East and the West. He guides whom He wills to a straight path. And thus we have made you a median, that is just community, that you will be witnesses over the people, and the messenger will be a witness over you. And we did not make the Qibla, which you used to face, except that we might make evident who would follow the messenger, from who would turn back on his heels. And indeed, it is difficult, except for those whom Allah has guided. And never would Allah have caused you to lose your faith, that is your previous prayers. Indeed, Allah is to the people, kind and merciful. We have certainly seen the turning of your face, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, toward the heaven, and we will surely turn you to a qibla with which you will be pleased. So turn your face, that is yourself, toward al-Masjid al-Haram, and wherever you believers are, turn your faces, that is yourselves, toward it in prayer. Indeed, those who have been given the scripture, that is the Jews and the Christians, well know that it is the truth from their Lord and Allah is not unaware of what they do. And if you brought to those who were given the scripture every sign, they would not follow your qibla. Nor will you be a follower of their qibla, nor would they be followers of one another's qibla. So if you were to follow their desires after what has come to you of knowledge, indeed, you would then be among the wrongdoers. Those to whom we gave the scripture know him, that is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as they know their own sons, but indeed a party of them conceal the truth while they know it. The truth is from your Lord, so never be among the doubters. For each religious following is a prayer direction toward which it faces, so race to all that is good. Wherever you may be, Allah will bring you forth for judgment altogether. Indeed, Allah is over all things competent. So from wherever you go out for prayer, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, turn your face toward Al-Masjid Al-Haram, and indeed, it is the truth from your Lord, and Allah is not unaware of what you do. And from wherever you go out for prayer, turn your face toward Al-Masjid Al-Haram, and wherever you believers may be, turn your faces toward it, in order that the people will not have any argument against you, except for those of them who commit wrong. So fear them not, but fear me, and it is so I may complete my favor upon you, and that you may be guided. Just as we have sent among you a messenger from yourselves, reciting to you our verses, and purifying you, and teaching you the book and wisdom, and teaching you that which you did not know. So remember me, I will remember you, and be grateful to me, and do not deny me. O you who have believed, seek help through patience and prayer, indeed Allah is with the patient. And do not say about those who are killed in the way of Allah, they are dead, rather. They are alive, but you perceive it not. And we will surely test you with something of fear and hunger, and a loss of wealth, and lives and fruits, but give good tidings to the patient, who, when disaster strikes them, say, Indeed, we belong to Allah, and indeed to Him we will return. Those are the ones upon whom are blessings from their Lord and mercy, and it is those who are the rightly guided. Indeed, as Safa and Al Marwa are among the symbols of Allah. So whoever makes Hajj, pilgrimage, to the house, or performs Umrah, there is no blame upon him for walking between them. And whoever volunteers good, then indeed Allah is appreciative and knowing. Indeed, those who conceal what we sent down of clear proofs and guidance, after we made it clear for the people in the scripture, those are cursed by Allah, and cursed by those who curse except for those who repent and correct themselves and make evident what they concealed, those I will accept their repentance, and I am the accepting of repentance, the merciful. Indeed, those who disbelieve and die while they are disbelievers, upon them will be the curse of Allah and of the angels and the people, all together. Abiding eternally therein, the punishment will not be lightened for them, nor will they be reprieved. And your God is one God, there is no deity worthy of worship except Him, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Indeed, in the creation of the heavens and the earth, and the alternation of the night and the day, and the great ships which sail through the sea, with that which benefits people, 
and what Allah has sent down from the heavens of rain, giving life thereby to the earth after its lifelessness, and dispersing therein every kind of moving creature, and his directing of the winds and the clouds, controlled between the heaven and the earth, are signs for a people who use reason. And yet among the people are those who take other than Allah as equals to him. They love them as they should love Allah, but those who believe are stronger in love for Allah. And if only they who have wronged would consider that, when they see the punishment, they will be certain that all power belongs to Allah and that Allah is severe in punishment. And they should consider that, when those who have been followed disassociate themselves from those who followed them, and they all see the punishment and cut off from them are the ties of relationship. Those who followed will say, if only we had another turn at worldly life, so we could disassociate ourselves from them, as they have disassociated themselves from us. Thus will Allah show them their deeds as regrets upon them, and they are never to emerge from the fire. O mankind, eat from whatever is on earth that is lawful and good, and do not follow the footsteps of Satan. Indeed, he is to you a clear enemy. He only orders you to evil and immorality and to say about Allah what you do not know. And when it is said to them, Follow what Allah has revealed, they say, Rather we will follow that which we found our fathers doing, even though their fathers understood nothing, nor were they guided. The example of those who disbelieve is like that of one who shouts at what hears nothing but calls and cries, that is cattle or sheep, deaf, dumb and blind, so they do not understand. O you who have believed, eat from the good, that is lawful things which we have provided for you, and be grateful to Allah, if it is indeed Him that you worship. He has only forbidden to you dead animals, blood, the flesh of swine, and that which has been dedicated other than Allah. But whoever is forced by necessity, neither desiring it, nor transgressing its limit, there is no sin upon him. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. Indeed, they who conceal what Allah has sent down of the book and exchange it for a small price, those consume not into their bellies except the fire. And Allah will not speak to them on the day of resurrection, nor will He purify them, and they will have a painful punishment. Those are the ones who have exchanged guidance for error and forgiveness for punishment. How patient they are for the fire. That is deserved by them, because Allah has sent down the book in truth, and indeed, those who differ over the book are in extreme dissension. Righteousness is not that you turn your faces towards the east or the west, but true righteousness is in one who believes in Allah, the last day, the angels, the book, and the prophets, and gives wealth in spite of love for it to relatives, orphans, the needy, the traveler, those who ask for help and for freeing slaves, and who establishes prayer and gives zakah, those who fulfill their promise when they promise, and those who are patient in poverty and hardship and during battle, those are the ones who have been true, and it is those who are the righteous. O you who have believed, prescribed for you is legal retribution for those murdered, the free for the free, the slave for the slave, and the female for the female. But whoever overlooks from his brother, that is the killer, anything, then there should be a suitable follow-up and payment to him, that is the deceased's heir or legal representative, with good conduct. This is an alleviation from your Lord and a mercy, but whoever transgresses after that will have a painful punishment. And there is for you in legal retribution saving of life, O you people of understanding that you may become righteous. Prescribed for you when death approaches any one of you if he leaves wealth is that he should make a bequest for the parents and near relatives according to what is acceptable, a duty upon the righteous. Then whoever alters it, that is the bequest, after he has heard it, the sin is only upon those who have altered it. Indeed, Allah is hearing and knowing. But if one fears from the bequeather some error or sin, and corrects that which is between them, that is the concerned parties, there is no sin upon him. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. O you who have believed, decreed upon you is fasting, as it was decreed upon those before you, that you may become righteous. Fasting for a limited number of days, so whoever among you is ill or on a journey during them, then an equal number of days are to be made up. And upon those who are able to fast but with hardship, 
a ransom, a substitute, of feeding a poor person each day, and whoever volunteers good, that is excess, it is better for him. But to fast is best for you, if you only knew. The month of Ramadan is that in which was revealed the Qur'an, a guidance for the people and clear proofs of guidance and criterion. So whoever cites the new moon of the month, let him fast it, and whoever is ill or on a journey, then an equal number of other days. Allah intends for you ease and does not intend for you hardship, and wants for you to complete the period and to glorify Allah for that to which He has guided you, and perhaps you will be grateful. And when my servants ask you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, concerning me, indeed I am near. I respond to the invocation of the supplicant when he calls upon me. So let them respond to me by obedience and believe in me, that they may be rightly guided. It has been made permissible for you the night preceding fasting to go to your wives for sexual relations. They are clothing for you and you are clothing for them. Allah knows that you used to deceive yourselves, so He accepted your repentance and forgave you. So now have relations with them and seek that which Allah has decreed for you, that is offspring. And eat and drink until the white thread of dawn becomes distinct to you from the black thread of night. Then complete the fast until the night that is sunset. And do not have relations with them as long as you are staying for worship in the mosques. These are the limits set by Allah, so do not approach them. Thus does Allah make clear His verses, that is ordinances, to the people that they may become righteous. And do not consume one another's wealth unjustly or send it in bribery to the rulers in order that they might aid you to consume a portion of the wealth of the people in sin while you know it is unlawful. They ask you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, about the new moons. Say, they are measurements of time for the people and for Hajj, pilgrimage. And it is not righteousness to enter houses from the back, but righteousness is in one who fears Allah and enter houses from their doors, and fear Allah that you may succeed. Fight in the way of Allah those who fight you, but do not transgress. Indeed, Allah does not like transgressors. And kill them wherever you overtake them, and expel them from wherever they have expelled you, and fitna is worse than killing. And do not fight them at Al-Masjid Al-Haram until they fight you there. But if they fight you, then kill them. Such is the recompense of the disbelievers. And if they cease, then indeed Allah is forgiving and merciful. Fight them until there is no more fitna and until religion, that is worship, is acknowledged to be for Allah. But if they cease, then there is to be no aggression, that is assault, except against the oppressors. Fighting in the sacred month is for aggression committed in the sacred month and for all violations is legal retribution. So whoever has assaulted you, then assault him in the same way that he has assaulted you and fear Allah and know that Allah is with those who fear Him. And spend in the way of Allah, and do not throw yourselves with your own hands into destruction by refraining, and do good. Indeed, Allah loves the doers of good. And complete the Hajj and Umrah for Allah, but if you are prevented, then offer what can be obtained with ease of sacrificial animals. And do not shave your heads until the sacrificial animal has reached its place of slaughter. And whoever among you is ill or has an ailment of the head making shaving necessary must offer a ransom of fasting three days or charity or sacrifice. And when you are secure, then whoever performs Umrah during the Hajj months, followed by Hajj, offers what can be obtained with ease of sacrificial animals. And whoever cannot find or afford such an animal, then a fast of three days during Hajj and of seven when you have returned home. Those are ten complete days. This is for those whose family is not in the area of Al-Masjid Al-Haram and fear Allah and know that Allah is severe in penalty. Hajj is during well-known months. So whoever has made Hajj obligatory upon himself therein by entering the state of Ihram, there is to be for him no sexual relations and no disobedience and no disputing during Hajj. And whatever good you do, Allah knows it and take provisions. But indeed, the best provision is fear of Allah and fear me, O you of understanding. There is no blame upon you for seeking bounty from your Lord during Hajj. But when you depart from Arafat, remember Allah at Al-Mashar Al-Haram and remember Him as He has guided you, for indeed you were before that among those astray. Then depart from the place from where all the people depart and ask forgiveness of Allah. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. And when you have completed your rites, 
Remember Allah like your previous remembrance of your fathers or with much greater remembrance. And among the people is he who says, Our Lord, give us in this world and he will have in the hereafter no share. But among them is he who says, Our Lord, give us in this world that which is good and in the hereafter that which is good and protect us from the punishment of the fire. Those will have a share of what they have earned and Allah is swift in account. And remember Allah during specific numbered days. Then whoever hastens his departure in two days, there is no sin upon him. And whoever delays until the third, there is no sin upon him. For him who fears Allah. And fear Allah and know that unto him you will be gathered. And of the people is he whose speech pleases you in worldly life. And he calls Allah to witness as to what is in his heart. Yet he is the fiercest of opponents. And when he goes away, he strives throughout the land to cause corruption therein and destroy crops and animals, and Allah does not like corruption. And when it is said to him, Fear Allah, pride in the sin takes hold of him, sufficient for him is hellfire, and how wretched is the resting place. And of the people is he who sells himself, seeking means to the approval of Allah, and Allah is kind to his servants. O you who have believed, enter into Islam completely and perfectly and do not follow the footsteps of Satan. Indeed, he is to you a clear enemy. But if you slip, that is deviate, after clear proofs have come to you, then know that Allah is exalted in might and wise. Do they await, but that Allah should come to them in covers of clouds and the angels as well, and the matter is then decided? And to Allah all matters are returned. Ask the children of Israel how many a sign of evidence we have given them. And whoever exchanges the favor of Allah for disbelief after it has come to him, then indeed Allah is severe in penalty. Beautified for those who disbelieve is the life of this world and they ridicule those who believe. But those who fear Allah are above them on the day of resurrection. And Allah gives provision to whom he wills without account. Mankind was of one religion before their deviation. Then Allah sent the prophets as bringers of good tidings and warners and sent down with them the scripture in truth to judge between the people concerning that in which they differed. And none differed over it, that is the scripture, except those who were given it after the clear proofs came to them out of jealous animosity among themselves. And Allah guided those who believed to the truth concerning that over which they had differed by his permission. And Allah guides whom he wills to a straight path. Or do you think that you will enter paradise while such trial has not yet come to you as came to those who passed on before you? They were touched by poverty and hardship and were shaken until even their messenger and those who believed with him said, When is the help of Allah? Unquestionably, the help of Allah is near. They ask you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, what they should spend. Say, whatever you spend of good is to be for parents and relatives and orphans and the needy and the traveler. And whatever you do of good, indeed, Allah is knowing of it. Fighting has been enjoined upon you while it is hateful to you. But perhaps you hate a thing and it is good for you. And perhaps you love a thing and it is bad for you. And Allah knows while you know not. They ask you about the sacred month about fighting therein, say, fighting therein is great sin, but averting people from the way of Allah and disbelief in Him and preventing access to Al-Masjid Al-Haram and the expulsion of its people therefrom are greater evil in the sight of Allah and fitna is greater than killing. And they will continue to fight you until they turn you back from your religion if they are able. And whoever of you reverts from his religion to disbelief and dies while he is a disbeliever, for those, their deeds have become worthless in this world and the hereafter, and those are the companions of the fire. They will abide therein eternally. Indeed, those who have believed and those who have emigrated and fought in the cause of Allah, those expect the mercy of Allah, and Allah is forgiving and merciful. They ask you about wine and gambling. Say, in them is great sin and yet some benefit for people, but their sin is greater than their benefit. And they ask you what they should spend. Say, the excess beyond needs. Thus, Allah makes clear to you the verses of revelation that you might give thought to this world and the hereafter. And they ask you about orphans. Say, improvement for them is best. And if you mix your affairs with theirs, they are your brothers. And Allah knows the corrupter from the amender. And if Allah had willed, he could have put you in difficulty. Indeed, Allah is exalted in might and wise. 
and do not marry polytheistic women until they believe, and a believing slave woman is better than a polytheist, even though she might please you, and do not marry polytheistic men to your women until they believe, and a believing slave is better than a polytheist, even though he might please you. Those invite you to the fire, but Allah invites to paradise and to forgiveness by His permission, and He makes clear His verses, that is ordinances, to the people that perhaps they may remember. And they ask you about menstruation, say it is harm, so keep away from wives during menstruation, and do not approach them until they are pure. And when they have purified themselves, then come to them from where Allah has ordained for you. Indeed, Allah loves those who are constantly repentant and loves those who purify themselves. Your wives are a place of cultivation, that is sowing of seed for you. So come to your place of cultivation however you wish, and put forth righteousness for yourselves, and fear Allah and know that you will meet Him, and give good tidings to the believers. And do not make your oath by Allah an excuse against being righteous, and fearing Allah and making peace among people, and Allah is hearing and knowing. Allah does not impose blame upon you for what is unintentional in your oaths, but He imposes blame upon you for what your hearts have earned, and Allah is forgiving and forbearing. For those who swear not to have sexual relations with their wives is a waiting time of four months, but if they return to normal relations, then indeed Allah is forgiving and merciful. And if they decide on divorce, then indeed Allah is hearing and knowing. Divorced women remain in waiting, that is, do not remarry for three periods, and it is not lawful for them to conceal what Allah has created in their wombs if they believe in Allah and the Last Day, and their husbands have more right to take them back in this period if they want reconciliation, and due to them, that is, the wives, is similar to what is expected of them, according to what is reasonable, but the men, that is the husbands, have a degree over them in responsibility and authority, and Allah is exalted in might and wise. Divorce is twice, then after that either keep her in an acceptable manner or release her with good treatment. And it is not lawful for you to take anything of what you have given them, unless both fear that they will not be able to keep within the limits of Allah. But if you fear that they will not keep within the limits of Allah, then there is no blame upon either of them concerning that by which she ransoms herself. These are the limits of Allah, so do not transgress them. And whoever transgresses the limits of Allah, it is those who are the wrongdoers, that is the unjust. And if he has divorced her for the third time, then she is not lawful to him afterward, until after she marries a husband other than him. And if he, that is the latter husband, divorces her or dies, there is no blame upon them, that is the woman and her former husband, for returning to each other, if they think that they can keep within the limits of Allah. These are the limits of Allah, which he makes clear to a people who know, that is understand. And when you divorce women and they have nearly fulfilled their term, either retain them according to acceptable terms or release them according to acceptable terms and do not keep them intending harm to transgress against them. And whoever does that has certainly wronged himself. And do not take the verses of Allah in jest and remember the favor of Allah upon you and what has been revealed to you of the book that is the Quran and wisdom that is the Prophet Sunnah by which he instructs you and fear Allah and know that Allah is knowing of all things. And when you divorce women and they have fulfilled their term, do not prevent them from remarrying their former husbands if they, that is all parties, agree among themselves on an acceptable basis. That is instructed to whoever of you believes in Allah and the last day. That is better for you and purer and Allah knows and you know not. Mothers may nurse, that is breastfeed their children, two complete years. For whoever wishes to complete the nursing period, upon the father is there that is the mother's provision, and their clothing according to what is acceptable. No person is charged with more than his capacity. No mother should be harmed through her child, and no father through his child. And upon the father's heir is a duty like that of the father. And if they both desire weaning through mutual consent from both of them and consultation, there is no blame upon either of them. And if you wish to have your children nursed by a substitute, there is no blame upon you, as long as you give payment according to what is acceptable. And fear Allah, and know that Allah is seeing of what you do.
And those who are taken in death among you and leave wives behind, they, the wives, shall wait four months and ten days. And when they have fulfilled their term, then there is no blame upon you for what they do with themselves in an acceptable manner. And Allah is fully acquainted with what you do. There is no blame upon you for that to which you indirectly allude concerning a proposal to women or for what you conceal within yourselves. Allah knows that you will have them in mind, but do not promise them secretly except for saying a proper saying, and do not determine to undertake a marriage contract until the decreed period reaches its end, and know that Allah knows what is within yourselves, so beware of Him, and know that Allah is forgiving and forbearing. There is no blame upon you if you divorce women you have not touched, nor specified for them an obligation, but give them a gift of compensation, the wealthy according to his capability and the poor according to his capability, a provision according to what is acceptable, a duty upon the doers of good. And if you divorce them before you have touched them and you have already specified for them an obligation, then give half of what you specified unless they forego the right or the one in whose hand is the marriage contract forgoes it. And to forego it is nearer to righteousness and do not forget graciousness between you. Indeed, Allah of whatever you do is seeing. Maintain with care the obligatory prayers and in particular the middle, that is Asr, prayer and stand before Allah devoutly obedient. And if you fear an enemy, then pray on foot or riding. But when you are secure, then remember Allah in prayer as He has taught you that which you did not previously know. And those who are taken in death among you and leave wives behind, for their wives is a bequest, maintenance for one year without turning them out. But if they leave of their own accord, then there is no blame upon you for what they do with themselves in an acceptable way. And Allah is exalted in might and wise. And for divorced women is a provision according to what is acceptable, a duty upon the righteous. Thus does Allah make clear to you His verses, that is laws, that you might use reason. Have you not considered those who left their homes in many thousands fearing death? Allah said to them, Die, then He restored them to life. And Allah is full of bounty to the people, but most of the people do not show gratitude. And fight in the cause of Allah, and know that Allah is hearing and knowing. Who is it that would loan Allah a goodly loan, so He may multiply it for him many times over? And it is Allah who withholds and grants abundance, and to Him you will be returned. Have you not considered the assembly of the children of Israel after the time of Moses, when they said to a prophet of theirs, Send to us a king, and we will fight in the way of Allah? He said, Would you perhaps refrain from fighting if fighting was prescribed for you? They said, And why should we not fight in the cause of Allah, when we have been driven out from our homes and from our children? But when fighting was prescribed for them, they turned away, except for a few of them. And Allah is knowing of the wrongdoers. And their Prophet said to them, Indeed, Allah has sent you Saul as a king. They said, How can he have kingship over us, while we are more worthy of kingship than him, and he has not been given any measure of wealth? He said, Indeed, Allah has chosen him over you, and has increased him abundantly in knowledge and stature. And Allah gives His sovereignty to whom He wills. And Allah is all-encompassing in favor and knowing. And their Prophet said to them, Indeed, a sign of His kingship is that the chest will come to you, in which is assurance from your Lord, and a remnant of what the family of Moses and the family of Aaron had left, carried by the angels. Indeed, in that is a sign for you, if you are believers. And when Saul went forth with the soldiers, he said, Indeed, Allah will be testing you with a river. So whoever drinks from it is not of me, and whoever does not taste it is indeed of me, except one who takes from it in the hollow of his hand. But they drank from it, except a very few of them. Then when he had crossed it, along with those who believed with him, they said, There is no power for us today against Goliath and his soldiers. But those who were certain that they would meet Allah said, How many a small company has overcome a large company by permission of Allah, and Allah is with the patient. And when they went forth to face Goliath and his soldiers, they said, Our Lord, pour upon us patience and plant firmly our feet and give us victory over the disbelieving people. 
So they defeated them by permission of Allah, and David killed Goliath, and Allah gave him the kingship and wisdom, that is prophethood, and taught him from that which he willed. And if it were not for Allah checking some people by means of others, the earth would have been corrupted, but Allah is full of bounty to the worlds. These are the verses of Allah which we recite to you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, in truth, and indeed, you are from among the messengers.